How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new video and it is Major Thursday. This is the first Major of the year today. I've got a major pair of shoes to bring you. So as you've seen from those clips there, guys, we're looking at the G4 MG4 Plus golf shoes. But before we look at the golf shoes, we're going to look at the box, because I think the box is definitely well worth showing you. So, so here is the box, guys, and I absolutely love this yellow box. The colouring on here, the detail that goes into this box. I know what some of you are going to think. You're going to think, who cares? It's just a box. But for me, I think those details are very cool. If we flip this bad boy open, which is gonna be tough, but there we go. You've got lovely little logoing there on the inside. And what I like about these shoes, guys, you get a nice little extra pair of laces. Not too many pairs of shoes on the market these days do you get that second pair of laces with, which is very, very cool indeed. But that's the box. I think the box is very, very cool. And here are the shoes. Okay, so here are the shoes, guys. So these are the MG4 Plus. Really, really been looking forward to getting these in my hands, getting them on my feet, giving you a full review and bringing them to the channel. Now today, guys, what we're gonna do is we are gonna roll the first look and the review all into the same video. So with all my first look videos, we start with the tech on the shoe, we start on the outside and we work our way in. The latter parts of the video will be my review and I'll be telling you what they're like to wear out on the golf course. So guys, the upper on the shoe are what G4 like to call a premium synthetic waterproof upper. And that goes all the way around the outside of the shoe it is all a sort of one piece construction and this is what they like to call premium synthetic now it's quite interesting when i was wearing these it didn't feel overly breathable don't get me wrong at the end of the round i didn't take these off and my feet were covered in sweat it was they were kind of quite fine it's a very very flexible upper it's really you can see here there's a lot of flex in it they say it provides you with 360 support my feet did feel fairly supported in this shoe, but most of the support came from the external heel cup that you got here on the back. So this is the other part of the shoe. This is a really nice touch. It's quite interesting. It's quite rubberized. It moves around quite a bit, but my heel did feel very, very much locked in place during my game of golf. No blisters at all in these, which is great. Really, really comfy, but uh, yeah, that's the upper and that is the external heel counter. Now guys, moving our way down to the midsole, you have G4's Auxitic Lattice Midsole. This is nice and squidgy. It's not as squidgy as you would kind of get from a Boost or a React. It's a little bit firmer than that, but still a pretty solid midsole. The shoe is a little bit wider than some shoes you would find on the market, and therefore they are pretty stable, and the midsole certainly does a great job of aiding that. And on the underside, guys, you have a two-part traction system. You've got all of these nubbins on here. If I kind of hold that up, you'll sort of see a, uh, a little better. There we go. You can kind of catch all of those little nubbins across there. So it's a lot of grip on the underside. I did not feel like I was going to slip at any point wearing these shoes. So you won't be disappointed in the traction. Now, a lot of the magic, guys, in this shoe happens on the inside. You have G4's triple density midsole on the inside there. And you've got these lovely little nubbins that you kind of become quite famous. G4 have for these little nubbins on the inside, which massage the underside of your foot during your round. I certainly did did not feel tired in my feet at all. After I wore these, they, my feet felt great. It's an interesting sensation on the underside of your foot when wearing these. If you've not experienced G4 before, uh, it might feel a little odd to start with, but uh, you'll definitely get used to it. And it's kind of quite a nice feeling. Massaging, I think, is a little bit of a stretch, 
but uh, it certainly does feel very, very nice underfoot. So guys, that is the tech in the shoes. Now, what you need to know, what they're like to wear. So when I was out on the golf course wearing these, I was blown away by how lightweight they are. They are incredibly light and you definitely, definitely feel it when wearing the shoes. It almost feels like you're not wearing any shoes at all. And I think that's very much down to the upper, but I think that's also where these shoes kind of, for me, just struggle a little bit. Because the upper is so lightweight and the midsole is quite firm, it's, it's a little bit squishy, but it's not as squishy as I would like. And it's a little bit wider as well. So your feet don't really kind of roll naturally in the shoe as you're swinging. I feel like it's a very solid platform. If you're big on stability, I think you'll really, really like these. But I just feel like my foot couldn't move like it wanted to in the swing. Certainly my left foot. I felt very planted to the ground and I just needed a little bit of pliability. And the upper tries for you, but it just doesn't quite allow itself to, to flex as much as it would like against the midsole. It's kind of difficult for me to explain, but I, I mean, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. I just didn't really feel like my foot could move freely in my golf swing. It wasn't a massive issue. I didn't, like, I didn't hit bad shots. I just, I, it was just very interesting. It was an interesting feel. I felt very planted and I just wish I had a little bit of sort of movement in the shoe. But that's just me. I'm sure I might be the only person who uh, sort of experienced that. But that was sort of my one major takeaway when wearing these shoes. Now, what do I think of the design? I think of the design. The design is awesome. You could wear these as a pair of trainers out and about, down the pub for a beer, whatever you want to do. You could get away with these. No one's going to know their golf shoes unless they know, obviously. But uh, I do really like the silhouette. I think the design is fantastic. Fantastic. The materials, like I said, are lovely and just it's just such a great looking shoe. I just really, really do like it. I love the navy colorway. Now this comes in a large number of colorways now. We had a sort of drip fed the first few on release a few weeks ago and now we've got a few more. So really like the white. I really like the sort of snow camo underside of it. another white pair that they've released. And so yeah, big, big fan of the silhouette, big fan of the colorways. And now a little detail that I really like. I like the plus logo that you get up here on the tongue. I think that's really quite cool. If you're English, it kind of looks like the uh, sort of St. George's kind of flag there, um, which is uh, as being English as I am, that's uh, quite a cool little touch. And then you do, of course, have G4's logo down there at the bottom of the tongue as well. Size-wise, guys, I would say true to size. Whatever you are in Nike, whatever you are in Adidas, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine in these for G4. Or if you've got any other G4 shoes, I think you'll be absolutely fine in that size. I went for a nine and a half. That's what I am in Nike and Adidas, and these are absolutely good to go. So price point, we're around £159 for these. Now, in my opinion, I think that's a little bit too much for a pair of these shoes, in my opinion. I don't know why they're priced that highly. If you look at a pair of Adidas Code Chaos, which for a spikeless shoe are about as good as it gets, they're at 129. Are you gonna spend the extra money on these, in my opinion? Unless you're a diehard G4 fan and you really like the silhouette, in my opinion, I think the Code Chaos are gonna be a little better bet, really long term, purchase wise, for value for money. I don't think these are value for money at 159, but if you really do like the look of the shoes, then, I mean, pull the trigger. If you want to buy them, I mean, I wouldn't be against people purchasing them because I think they're a wicked pair of shoes. But value for money, I just do not think they're there. And that leads me on to the final piece of the video, guys. My overall decision on the shoes, my overall thoughts. And I do really, really like them. I really like the upper. It feels really nice around your foot. It's very, very nice indeed. It's not as breathable as I would like but still it's a very, very nice upper. The comfort in the shoe is fantastic. The heel counter does really make a nice impact on keeping your heel really sort of locked into the shoe. The midsole is not as squidgy as I would like. I would like it to be a little bit squidgier. It's a little too firm for me. So I think if G4 did a little bit with the cushioning, made these shoes maybe fractionally narrower so your feet could sort of move a little better in the swing, I think that would definitely be a way to go. And then underside guys, grip wise, cannot complain about the grip at all. Overall opinions on the shoes, a big thumbs up. I really love the silhouette, really like how it looks. It performs really well. It's very, very nice to wear, very 
comfy. So uh, definitely a really cool pair of shoes. Just the price is a little too high for me, guys. So guys, enjoy the PGA Championship this week. Drop me a comment in the comment section below who you think is going to get the W this week. For me, it's pretty wide open. I would love to see Rory do it, although he's not been playing all that great recently. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Thank you.